I'm Wally Amos. Read It Loud is a foundation that creates awareness about the benefits, the values, and the importance of parents, adults, reading aloud to children from birth to age six for at least 10 minutes a day. If you do that, you will have a reader. The idea is not just to learn to read, but to have a thirst for words, a love for reading. Reading aloud works. It's been working for generations, and it works today. Read it loud! Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Curious George and the pizza. The publisher is Horton Mifflin. And the author and illustrators are Margaret and H.A. Rays. Curious George and the pizza. Can you say pizza? Pizza. Let's go out for pizza tonight, George, said his friend. And George is ready to eat. He's got a knife. He's got a fork. A bowl full of fruit. At the pizza place, Tony the baker was getting the pizzas ready for the baking. He flattened out a ball of dough into a large pancake and tossed it, tossed it in the air. I love to watch them when they throw the pizzas up and they have this little wobbly shape and they kind of wobble when they float in the air. He spread, what do you spread on a pizza? What do you spread, what kind of sauce? Tomato sauce. He spread tomato sauce on it. What did he sprinkle it with? Cheese. Cheese. And then what does he do with it? Shove it where? In the oven. In the oven. Have you guys been making pizza? Huh? Ooh. Then the telephone rang. <coughs> 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 A fellow from the factory wants a large pizza delivered in a hurry, Tony's wife called. Okay, I'll get my coat, said Tony. Yeah, George was curious. Could he make a pizza too? He jumped up on the counter and took some dough. George pounded the dough into pancakes. Really thin, spread it out. Then he tossed them into the air with all four hands. One of them plopped right in the middle of a table where a woman was sitting. Another landed on a coat rack. One fell on the jukebox. The flying pizza dough all over the kitchen, all over the restaurant. And one landed smack on Tony's head. Who did that? He shouted. It looks like a hat. George was scared. He ran out and jumped into a small truck to hide. He has every reason to be scared because George did a bad thing. 
That customer is still waiting for his pizza, said Tony's wife. You'd better hurry. They'll be closing the factory in a few minutes. Ah, I forgot all about it, said Tony. Quickly, he packed the pizza in the back of the truck and drove off. George was trapped inside. Help! Help! I can't get out! Help! <laughs> Sorry, George, we can't hear you. The truck sped to the factory, but it was too late. The gates were locked. Oh, no! Tony groaned. How will I ever deliver the pizza? How's he going to? That's a good question. How will he deliver the pizza? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. You, you, yeah. Yes, you. No, you, yes. Yes, you. Are you going to get someone to climb over the fence? Curious George. Oh, well, that's a, that might be a one. Let's see what Tony does. He opened the back door of the truck, and there was George. So that's where you've been hiding, you bad little monkey, Tony cried. He reached out to grab George, but then he stopped. Why did he stop? Huh? Anybody know why he stopped? Because he thought he, um, the monkey would help him. He thought the monkey would help him. All right. I've got an idea, he said. You're just the one I need. How good that George was a monkey. Because what are monkeys good at? Climbing. Climbing, climbing. And so... George was perfect to deliver because he could climb and hold the pizza at the same time. Look at that, shouted the factory guard. A monkey delivering pizza. Thanks, George, said Tony. You made up for all the trouble you caused. I'm going to make a special pizza for you and your friend when we get Back. So George winds up being a hero, even though he made a big boo-boo. And that's what he did. Tony made a pizza for everybody, and there they are, eating their wonderful pizza. Do you guys like pizza? Yeah! Woo! Thanks for reading, guys. Thanks for being a great audience. Bye-bye.